blue collar watches again. This is another one of the watches that I got yesterday. This is an AliExpress purchase. This is the Polaris. The model number it states off of their site is just Daytona style. It's three bar of atmosphere, hard lux crystal, 40 millimeters in circumference, 15 millimeters thick. I got this for $27.74. I don't remember if this is from the Big Spring sale or not. Probably not because it's kind of here early if it was from the Big Spring sale. Anyway, as I was looking at watches on there, uh, they actually had a picture. You know, they called this the Paul Newman Daytona. And it was, uh, they had a Paul Newman in a background picture on it. And I really like the face of this watch. I like this ice blue dial. I'm pretty impressed with this watch for sub $30. This has a screwed on crown. These pushers are screwed on. It's not really a chronograph. As you can see in here, one of these is a day indicator. One is the date indicator. And this is just the 24 hour indicator. And about. So it's not really a chronograph, but screwed on crown, screwed on pushers. No exhibition case back. I haven't opened it up. It's probably because of the price point of the watch. This probably has the Tong G automatic movement in it. I did time graph it and it was coming out about minus 20 seconds a day. Not spectacular. Uh, but for a sub $30 watch, that's pretty darn good. The band that this came with. For a sub $30 watch, it's a decent band. Solid end links. Micro adjustments. The clasp, better than most inexpensive watches. And I think that's a pretty darn good looking watch. I probably would have been willing to pay a little more for it. Don't let Polaris know that because they'll start charging more. Even this, this dial, it's not plastic. It's an actual, it's probably an alloy, as probably is the case. The loom, I haven't really checked the loom, but it does have, as you can see, applied indices. Again, there's the, you know, day, date. In an actual hour. I haven't even set those. You know why? It's too small for me to see anyway. It just kind of looks cool. You know, it makes it look like a chronograph, but it's really not a chronograph. But I think for less than twenty-eight dollars, that this is what really shocked me is the screw down crown and the screw down pushers. I didn't expect that on a watch at this price point. This is the second watch I have received from this company. I'm pretty impressed for what I'm getting for my money. It's a, it's a cheap movement in there. So if you're looking for something with precision, nobody that's looking for a precision timepiece buys an automatic because they're all going to lose or gain time. Uh, 20 seconds is not spectacular. You know, you, you hope to get your watch within 10 seconds a day. But... For $27.74, that's not a bad little watch. And the face on this, I just love it. Actually got a really good in-focus shot on this one. So, still on AliExpress. Like I said, there is no model number. It just says uh, Daytona style. And then when you come across a Polaris watch and you see Paul Newman's face in the background, hey, this is it. Comes in a bunch of different colors. I just really like this ice blue one. I think it's a it's a good looking face. We're gonna call this one done. That's it. Oh, the one thing I did want to add on on this video, because I have a seven and three quarter inch wrist. There's the weight. No links removed on this band. This almost fit perfect out of the box. I took it in one micro adjustment. 
So if you have an absolutely huge wrist, uh, this will probably go up to seven and three quarter. At seven and three quarter, I took the micro adjustment in one click. So if you have an absolutely huge wrist, I'm not quite sure that this is going to fit you. Now we're done. That's it.